Hello, today we're going to be showing you how to terminate the Direct Connect CAD 5e data 110 style insert using a traditional punch down tool. As you can see, I've pre stripped the CAD 5e cable. If you'd like to see how to do this, please look at the Direct Connect video on stripping a CAD 5e cable. Additionally, you can use a screwdriver or a pen to rub along the wires after you strip it because sometimes there's a little bit of the twist remaining in the cable. This will help to make it easier for termination. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the, the keystone insert. If you take a look at it, you've got two rows of colors on one side and a solid color on the other side. Well, what does this mean? Well, the colors represent the wires and where they go. Here you're going to have the blue and white, blue, brown, and brown and white wires. And on this side, you, you actually have the green and green and white, orange and orange and white. Now, why you have two? If you take a look here, you'll notice one says A and one says B. We're going to be using the one on the bottom, the color scheme on the bottom. We recommend version B. Now, what does this refer to? There's two standards out there traditionally used, 568A and 568B. They're both very good standards. The important thing to remember is when you wire this, wire the entire residence or business or job that you're doing the same way so your network wires all work properly. Uh, we recommend 568B because it has a little bit higher data transfer and you can run at longer distances. However, both standards are very good. Okay, so we're going to lay our insert down, put in place for you here. And I'm going to lay the wire in place first, then I'm going to use my punch down tool. So here I'm going to put in the brown wire. And then I'm going to put in the brown and white wire. I'm going to give you a close-up view when I'm done with this side so you can see what I'm doing. Then the blue wire, then the blue and white wire. You can see I've tucked them in the little grooves in the proper colors on the first side. Now the second side, like I said, I'm going to use the color scheme on the bottom. So the orange and white wire goes first. Then the orange wire. Then I'm going to put the solid green wire in place. And then the green and white wire. Now if one of the wires happens to come out while you're doing this, don't worry about it. Just go back and insert it back in. You're just laying it in place right here. Just want to make sure all your wires are in the proper color scheme. Take a look. You can see how they're laid in. Okay. So now, we're going to use our punch down tool. Now, it's a traditional punch down style tool. If you notice, one side on it says cut. I'll show you the tip of it. Now the cut side, we're actually going to put to the outer edge so after you punch it down, it'll cut the edge of the wire off. And do the other side. Sometimes you notice the wire doesn't completely cut off and you may have to pull a little strand off, but that's normal. As you can see now, take a look at that. You see all the wires have been terminated properly and in the insert. Now the last step is to put the little cover on top. And you just put the cover in place. And this helps keep the wires in place from pulling out. And that completes your CAT5 keystone insert by direct connect using a traditional punch down tool.